He said, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O'Shea, Brakate Yahawa, Brakate O'Shea. First and foremost, he wanted to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahawa, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule at, at a great millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akiyams in the four kind of the to push the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Coming out less than 35, the church of Yahweh Shai. In 144,000, and the one third, men, women, and children, contribution of faith, Israel, the scattered among the heathen nation. Right, when I do a quick lesson on this RT News article. Right, it's a. Um, um, get it up quick. He said, do the right thing. Venezuela, Venezuela defense minister res, uh, responds to Bolton call to defect, right? So, um, it said the U.S. National Secu uh, Secretary, so like the U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton has been, <coughs> so like you, <coughs> so like you. right? It said U.S. National um, Security advisor John Bolton has been flooding Venezuela Defense Minister Valadir uh, Padrino with mess message asking him to do the right thing, playing the good cup to his own bad cup. Right? Just want to get a quick precept because what people need to do, so like what people need to understand is that the so called white man is the enemy. And the scriptures and the most I said, believe nothing that this man say. You understand? When he's speaking fear, believe him not. Because there are seven abominations in, in his mouth. Right? And the so-called white man only interested in in in, in, in your in your um, in your we call it your um, your resources. Right? Let me get a quick precept. Right? You so called Venezuela, you are Israelites, right? You from the tribe of Asher. And why why the most I got the so called white man for your tail? Because y'all y'all are wicked. Y'all y'all giving giving it giving it giving it to our idolatry. You know, Jesus. Which go back to Hail Zeus, aka Jesus Christ, Serapus Christus. You understand? Y'all gotta repent from our the, the, the fornication. Right? Right? And turn back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Alright? Um, so don't believe nothing this devil say. Alright, let me see if I find the precept. They said there is seven, there are seven abominations in his lip. Alright? Um, let me see if I find this precept. Alright? Don't believe nothing this devil say. Yeah. This is, uh, Proverbs chapter 26 um, Proverbs chapter 26 verse 25 It said when he speaketh fear And the so-called white man is speak fear The word fear be beautiful Because one of the so-called white man power That he was blessed with Is deception That's why he known as the serpent He known as Satan He known as the devil Right? You understand, you know, as the you know, as the beast that the most I make more crafty than any other, the serpent that the most I make more crafty, crafty than any other beast in the field, right? So, he's known as that, so he have that, he have that attribute in him, right? What it has given is it's a it's a it's a deceived people, you understand, right? So, he rule, he rules, he rules empire on deception, you understand, he's so called white man, very hypocritical. Right, not to be trusted, and you people are gonna see these last days. The most I'm gonna manifest this beast in the last day, y'all gonna see because a lot of y'all playing hostage, right? You Israelites, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 20, uh, 25. When he speak fear, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart, and your heart go back to the word love in the Hebrew, which is mine, right? So he's a complete devil. Said the word seven be completion. So don't believe nothing this devil see. Right? Um it's a Bolton most recent do the right thing tweet implore um Pad Padrino 
and, and the army to protect the constitution order from Maduro, he said usurpation, usurpation of democracy, though US he said though US special envoy Elliot Abraham admit early this month that what Juan Guaido self proclaimed presidency was technically in violation of Venezuela constitution. Yeah. Hey, the most I said, their own tongue gonna fall upon themselves. Let me get that too. Hey, Yahoo Bashim, Yahoo Shai doing a beautiful work on these devil. You understand? Got them telling on themselves. You know, telling on themselves. Right? This is um Psalms. Let me get this here quick. Right? Got them telling on themselves. Psalm 64. Right? Um. Um, Psalm 64 verse 8 so, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves So the tell on the self So shall they make their own tongue to fall upon themselves All that see them shall flee away You understand? All that see them shall flee away So the tell on the self are So the be so wicked not realizing the tell on the self Right? He said though U.S. Special Envoy Elliot Abram Admit earlier this month that one Guaido self proclaimed presidency was technical, technically in violation of Venezuela constitution until he said, until he uni unilaterally up to change it. You understand? So these devil know there's a violation, but was because of greed. It's because of greed. You understand? He said, Mr. Bolton, I tell you that we are doing the right thing. Um, Pad Padrino responded in a tele tele televised address doing the right thing is is doing what is written in the constitution doing the right thing is respecting the will of the people right he said Bolton has been tweeting at at um, Pad Padrino all week and those are just the message he 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 is sent publicly the Venezuelan military refused to throw its support behind Juan Guaido, the opposition leader. Torn and self pointed US backed in interim president is clearly is is clearly a torn in his side. You understand? So hey, this devil all this devil know about his war, right? He said we call on the Venezuelan military to uphold its constitution, constitutional duty to protect the citizens of Venezuela, Bolton tweet in a statement in which he also cautioned actors external to the Western Hemisphere, Russia mostly, to cease their provocation action lest the U.S. force to be defend and protect its interests. And you, you, the, the, the interest is in oil. You understand? That's where the interest in oil. You understand? He said, um, Pad Padrino does not seem interested in Bolton love letters. However, denouncing Wido, denouncing Wido as a self proclaimed outlaw, he said, We, the soldier of the motherland, do not accept the uh, presi um, president imposed in the, in the shadow of darkness. So, like in the shadow of dark interest, he said. All right, so. You know, don't trust this devil. You understand? And the most I got his spirit on, on, um, on, because Batura to, to stand a whole strong and, and don't crack. You understand? So you so God as well, you need to repent. You know, y'all are Israelites. Right? Y'all are Israelites. And this whole situation in Venezuela going to escalate. You understand? Because we head into World War War Three, It's going to escalate. Right? And hey, the same thing gonna happen to America. America gonna be invaded. The same thing America do to these nations gonna happen back to America, right? But what these devils just gotta fulfill the wickedness. This is Isaiah 55 verse 21. He said the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. So war is in these these devil mind. You know the so-called Russians, they are Edomites. They are the so-called Americans, they are Edomites, right? And Mohab, which is the Chinese, right? So called Chinese, all of them is your enemy. All of them is your so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American Indian. They are your enemy, right? And you so called Venezuela need to know this because you have to get the voice of your enemy. You have 
keeping America out, the so-called the so-called white Americans, which are the Edomites, right? But y'all have y'all have y'all have y'all have the Russian inside who are Edomites too. You understand? They are your enemy, right? You understand? He said the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sword. You understand? So this is exactly what, what they're gonna do. Right? They are your enemy. Right? This is um this is our cup chapter two verse five. He said, Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine. His wine is his democracy. You wanna you wanna you wanna install democracy in Venezuela? You wanna get you wanna get you wanna get you you Venezuelan to accept homosexuality, you know, to be transgender, to be lesbian. You understand? This we want you wanna destroy you, right? Democracy is detrimental. Look at the state of the world now. Look at these nations. No shame. You understand? Right? That's why the Mosai said the so called white man's a serpent and democracy is venom. When a serpent bites you, it it it, 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 it take the venom take a while to go through your bloodstream. But when they finish it course, it destroy you. And democracy destroy these people, destroy these nations. Look at these women in the Middle East now, they all out of order right now. And they they was once in order. Now they wanna twerk, they wanna walk half naked. You understand? Because when they were bitten by the serpent. These men wanna be faggots. You understand? They were bitten by the serpent and the, and the so-called the white man democracy is venom, right? Because the scripture call him a serpent. Right? Abu Coach chapter 2, verse 5, he said, Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine, he's a proud man. Need to keep it at home. See, don't keep it at home. He's an arrogant man. Right? He need to keep it at home. Who enlarges desire as hell and is as death. So anywhere this man goes, is death and destruction and hell. Go back to the word shahol, which is grave. The grave never satisfy. Right? So this man don't care much wealth he get. Don't care the place he go and steal, rob, and kill. He do not he do not satisfy. Right? He said, and cannot be satisfied, but gathered unto him all nation, and heaped unto him all people. Shall not all these take up a parable against him? So all these nations can take up a parable against him. And said so the so-called white man is he promised the devil and will shoot the missile at him. Psalm 17 and, uh, Revelation 17 and 16. Right? All these nations plus his own allies gonna shoot missile at him. Right? Um it says, Shall not all these take up a parable against him? And a taunting proverb against him? And him is the so called white man. And a taunting proverb against him, saying, Woe made destruction to him that increased that which is not his, going into these nations like Iraq, Afghanistan, Somalia, Syria, you understand, Venezuela, to steal the resources. Right? It said, Woe to him that increased that which is not his. How long unto him that laid it in, in laid it himself in thick clay and is going into the the depth, you know, American heavy debt right now, right? For seven shall they not rise up suddenly that shall buy thee? So this nation will rise up suddenly that shall buy thee. And we see in China, we see in Russia, we see in India, North Korea, right? Iran, right? And awake that shall vex thee. And thou shalt be for a booty unto them. Our booties were spoiled. America gonna be a spoil. America gonna be in vain. Right? He said, Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. So America gonna be spoiled. America gonna be destroyed by Thurman nuclear missile, ICBM missile. Revelation 18. He said, Because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. You understand? So America gonna be invaded, right? Let me get one more quick here. Amer America gonna be invaded. Let me get that, right? I'm going straight to the point. This is Ezekiel chapter 38, verse um, verse 10. Thus said the Lord Power, it shall also come to pass that at the same time shall things come into thy mind. And this this is Ru this is Russia and Russia ally. Can we start from verse one? You can break it down, right? The Russians. Libya, uh, Ethiopia, and the Persia, which is Iran and India, right? So, Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 10. Thus said the Lord 
Lord God, it shall also come to pass that that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou and thou and thou shalt think an evil thought, and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled village. There's America. I will go to them that are at rest. So America, the, the, the so-called Babylonian at rest. You know, they at rest. They 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 ain't like the people in the Middle East. You know, they gotta be hiding. Is is bullet flying, missile flying every day. Is war. So these these Babylonian at rest. Right. So America gonna be invaded by these nation. Just like what happened in the Middle East and happened to America, and it, it kick off in Venezuela. Right, because war is a cancer, so the war transfer, the war spread from the Middle East now to the western side. That dwells safely. The, 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 these people on the western side that dwell safely. They say all of them dwelling without walls. Right, that's why Trump talking about bar the walls. Right, and having neither bar nor gate. You understand? And this is what I'm to America. America gonna be invaded by these nations. The same thing she do to people. The same thing gonna happen to she. He said, to take a spoil and to take a prey, to turn thy hand upon the desolate place that are now inhabited, which going into America, and upon the people that are gathered out of, out of, out of nation, all the, all, the, all the nation dwelling in America, right? America known as the great melting pot, which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of the land. You understand? So this when I'm to America, America gonna be invaded by this nation. America gonna be destroyed. So hey, don't trust this devil. This devil speak fear with his lips. You know, so hey, you so govern is gonna repent. You from the tribe of Asher. Right? Repent. And with that, Obis Lesson said the final one to give our praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule by that great millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the folk and the earth pushing the gospel in sincerity. Shalom.